and he had a tile guy come out here to do the shower that he knew that's been doing it, he said, for three years with him. And the first thing they did, they didn't have the schlutter there. It was just a, just like this on the wall. And my guy came out here, the handyman, didn't know it. Oh, oh goodness. Sure. No, no, no. How long did it take him to, um, to mess up your shower? Uh, from the beginning. No, 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 no. Oh, it, it took two weeks to do this? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So during the process, did you kind of like, hey, what's going on with this schluter? <laughs> exactly. It was just a flat, just like the wall, just like this. And I said, because I never done this my first time, never did it, didn't know. And I walked in and I said, this doesn't look right. I've never seen it like that before, not finished. No. And he said, but it is finished. And I said, no, it's not finished. And he said, well, that's how he did my shower and all the others. And I said, well, well that's not right, though. And I know. And then I looked it up and your video came up in the shower. It's actually real similar to this shower, actually. That you had looked at these are the big tile that i don't want to do these are the big tile that take a certain talent in order not to get chips and stuff i mean this is small potatoes compared to the preponderance of what's going on but mm -hmm. there is a a very specific skill set to be able to do this especially without lippage because there's a lot of lippage there yes um but also the cuts and so the good thing is that they were even pieces. I mean, one piece all the way to the ceiling without any discrepancy, because I see that often. But why the different, why the different tile on the ceiling? He, I mean, that, that tile doesn't match anything. Yeah, what, what happened was he asked, I told him I wanted the ceiling tiled. Right. And he said he had never done a ceiling before with tile. And I said, okay, so that's what they went and got to put on the ceiling. <laughs> And that has not even, he thought he went and put it in. That's how it was before. He drilled in there to put that in there. Yeah, and they got the same lippage on the back of here yes. as, as, as over here. Um, I mean, it's, you know, like overall, had you, had you brought me this tile, I probably would have declined on it, but you know, overall it's a, it's an appropriate area, like, you know, even with the bench, right? One one piece, one piece on the front. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, and you can't get away with that with a smaller tile. You'd have to put a piece of marble or, or quartz or something on there. Ooh, horrible. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Damn. That's the handyman that does not, he's never done a shower before. He doesn't know how to do it. He told me he Yeah, but he made him even, though. I mean, it's the same <laughs> lippage on both sides. <laughs> So there's that. But that's what it looked like, of course, before he put all the schlitter, or schlitter, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, schlitter. Um, because they're different manufacturers. Look at that ground line. They're different manufacturers of this trim. Mm -hmm. And then and then he just has a factory edge on the top there. Yes. Was, was there, did you ask for this um, open top area? He said it should probably have been open because I guess closing it in would be too much, he thought. Unless you put a fan. Soon. I mean, yeah, you know, you could yeah, always put a yeah, fan in there. Yeah. Do you like that? It doesn't bother me. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just different. <laughs> it's unusual. Yeah. What we did, see, my son is um, handicapped. He's autistic. Sure. We did the shower for him to be able to, if he was going to have to be in a wheelchair, to be able to roll in. That's right. why we had it the way it is. And he said it could be okay doing like that, but I have no idea because I've never done a shower. Uh, and he took little pieces of tile because it wasn't there. Yes, he did. And I said, why did he, why did he do that? Yes, he did. Well, because he did the mm -hmm. floor tile after he did the wall tile. Yes, the handyman came and did that. The floor tile guy did the floor, but then he put a sealer down because he said it wasn't grouted. I don't know if it's, you can see the mesh through it, so I don't know if he even tried to grout any of it. Well, he tried to grout with... Because he ran out of grout is what had happened. Well, since said, I know, but Home Depot is right down the road. <laughs> exactly. It, you know, the slope doesn't look awful. Uh, you know, there's there's some humps going on. It's not it's not perfect. It's not it's not what I would do, but um, it's not bad. I mean, it's probably the best thing in the shower is this floor. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't squeeze it up through uh, the grout lines. Or maybe a couple places he did, but you know it seems to have a natural flow down. Well, there's a hump there. Um, usually, we're worried about pooling mm -hmm. more than anything else, and and so 
like they say in the South, it's a hot mess. Um, <laughs> That's exactly what I said. And, and you know, lippage on here too, and, mm -hmm. they, you know, of course, the factory edge on top and the edge here. Um, so it's, it's, um, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and so what is, what is this? This is how he proposed, oh, for the wheelchair. Yes, yes. So, so did you want a curbless shower? Um, I told him I wanted something that was an easy step up unless we had to, but then he said, well, you'll probably want a wheelchair because, you know, in years to come. And I said, that's fine too, but that's what they did. So he did his own design of a curbless shower. Yes. That's different. I've never seen, um, I've never seen this ever. Um, it, it's kind of inventive and I suppose if there was more planning in it, he could have gotten away with something like that, but, mm -hmm. um, never quite seen that. No. Not quite. I've never seen that. <laughs> um, and he missed he missed the boat on this one too. Yes, yeah. Although fill and piece would work still, but uh, it's um, it's a different build. Yeah, because he the handyman guy came back. He's he's the contractor pretty much. I guess the guy telling him the tile guy what to do, and he bought all the supplies, but not him not knowing. The guy just used what he had given him. And when I asked, I said, well, well what are you gonna do with the edges here? And he said, well, when they put the door up, they'll come and fix those. And I said, not that I know of, they won't. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't been done because we're getting a window put in. Okay. Is it, is it gonna slide in here to the, to the point where it was cut, the tile was cut? Um, that's what I don't know. It's gonna be an awning window that okay. you can crack open. Yeah. And they're gonna be coming out here. It's um, Window World to look to see what they can put in there. Well, and he needed to plan that out before he started the tiling. Mm -hmm. I mean, because mm -hmm. this isn't even, even to the ledge. Thing, you know, being already what it is, uh, you know, this could be, the, I think you're stuck with the Schluter the way it is. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, this could be kind of like uh, taken out and then another piece put in the slit in there like this, mm -hmm. okay? So that could be kind of rectified, but I think you're stuck with the Schluter the way it is, mm -hmm. unfortunately, because there's no way to pull that out of exactly. there. It's all stuck in. Yes. Um, and you're kind of stuck with the big tile showers. I think the floor is, is passable. I think the water will still drain. Okay. Um, this does because it's a, it's a shaved rock and it's very porous, and I don't know what waterproofing they did or didn't do. And I, so, yeah. so a good sealer needs to be put on this floor. Yes, sir. He did put the 511 impregnator? No. No, okay. Well, beforehand, yes, that's good. Okay. But afterward, you, oh, afterward you, yes. Yes, you cannot put too much sealer on here. And I, I'll send you a screenshot of a sealer, which is almost like a duck's back. It, water will just run off of it. Okay. It's a mm -hmm. sealer and almost a waterproofer. I'm going to call it that. Yeah, she um, definitely knows about that. Right, because because the trouble is we don't know if he did all this wrong. We don't know what he did underneath wrong, underneath, yes. and there's going to be a leak in into your ceiling downstairs eventually if you don't mitigate what he may or may not have done. Yes, because I'm not seeing any red guard. Usually, when people use red guard, they slop it somewhere. Yeah, and I'm not seeing any little pieces of slop. Yeah. So, so what's your goal? What do you want to do? Get it usable. Yes. <laughs> so you want to pay somebody to finish up. Mm -hmm. um, and make it functional. Yeah, exactly. In other words, come in here and grout the floor mm -hmm. and seal it up mm -hmm. and and put the schluter in here and rectify that other schluter and then when you get the window, mm -hmm. make that make that happen also. Yes, mm -hmm. yes okay. exactly. Yeah. Relatively easy. Uh, mm -hmm. Like say, we're very uncomfortable with him even getting in the side of that shower again. He kind of doesn't know that, but he's going to know that. And that's another question I have right there. <laughs> That's Took interesting. The wood off and put that there. Interesting. Um, <laughs> could have been really done well because, you know, he's kind of sort of did it okay. You could actually put some gray paint on that edge and kind of hide that. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the cuts are even on the edge and all that stuff. And, you know, I mean, it's okay. But it's just that the filler was grout and it could have been something different. It could have been done better. And in fact, all of this could have been taken off and then just a larger trim just well, right up underneath it. That's exactly kind of yeah. what I thought he Yeah, there, I mean, there's so exactly. many choices that could have been made. And then what do you want to do on the outside here? 
Um, uh, well, I guess, <laughs> whatever we can do to fix it, it, I guess, yeah. Put some trim mm -hmm. on it and hide the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> well, but I guess what we were, yeah, she was thinking about, you know, let's say everything's okay and sidewalk can be used. Yes. And until, well. Until so maybe five to ten years down the road, well, maybe redo the, the whole door, thing. Where well, we didn't know maybe? how long it'd take to get a door because we didn't know who or wherever. Now we know Pinnacle. But you just put a shower bar up there until the glass can be put in. <laughs> you, you, but, since you, like I said, gave us a little heads up on Pinnacle. So you said you out. you said you hired a separate plumber to do the plumbing. He did. The the tile guy did the plumbing to start with, and the contractor came out to hit, put the stuff up and fix the back of it where it wouldn't come out. Did I make the fan go on? No, I did. I oh, turned it on okay. Oh, Extra light. There. Oh. <laughs> This is this is the sloppiest plumbing job I've ever seen. It looks like a ten-year-old came in here with a bunch of paint because there are different glues being used, and there's a lot of problems. Not problems going forward, but there's a lot of problems of the way that he did his plumbing. The least of which is a CPVC, which I cannot stand. But then there's also a sharp bite in here, which is not good. Actually, two sharp bites. Actually, four sharp bites. Um, you're not supposed to encapsulate a wall with sharp bites because of the potential that they could fail. Mm -hmm. That being said, you still have access back here and you could put a panel or whatever, but it's just a hodgepodge of, mm -hmm. uh, it's the easiest plumbing to do. Mm -hmm. It's almost like tiddlywinks or any of those games that you played when you were a kid because, you know, you put plastic together very easily. Better than this guy did, um, but it's just uh, uh, horrible, horrible. And then the strap, I don't understand at all. I mean, I know it's for anchoring, but that's not the way you anchor pipe. Yeah, I, I don't know. The contractor came out, or my, the handyman guy, came out and put the wall up where I didn't understand why the wall was put up until we knew it was going to work. <laughs> God, that's horrible. It didn't make any sense to me. So. Okay. Hey, if you enjoyed that video and you learned something, consider being a Patreon member. Five, ten, fifteen dollars a month would help me greatly produce more videos. I make nothing up from YouTube at all. If you're gonna call me for advice, please donate fifty dollars for thirty minutes. My link to my PayPal and my Patreon account is down below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get immediate notifications as soon as I post a video. And thank you very much for your support.